Okay, everybody, welcome to another episode of GWC 401 Unscripted. You got uh, myself, JR, and Monica. Monica Farias, <laughs> and uh, I, I actually corrected your name uh, and you. title. Yes, I, I fixed that. Thank you, Thank you very I much. That. Yeah, and uh, just wanted to say, guys, this uh, episode is brought to you by uh, Home Life Realty, Remax Home Life Realty, uh, also Medsmall Deluxe LA, and your legal team, Black Widow Investigation. So if you guys are looking for a legal team, call Black Widow Investigations. And a house, car, good friend, mm -hmm. Alex. And of course, Mess Ball Deluxe, LA. Yeah, you know. if you all your all your um all your beauty needs, they certainly can meet them. So all our what needs? Beauty needs. Beauty needs. Yeah, yes, beauty Mess Ball Deluxe. Needs. No, they've been doing a great job um uh, on us. I mean, I, the, the 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 micro needling has been great. Uh, all the things that I feel like I've been done has been really good on my skin. <laughs> What? Why are you no, laughing? no, you have, and I think you've adapted some new uh, habits as far as skincare, and yes. so that you know that that's really good. Thank you, Sarah, Thank and the you. team over there. <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted to get into some topics because um, I've been running into some people, and I and I thought to myself, I said, you know what? I think because Monica's very informational. Monica knows a lot of oh stuff right God. here. You do. Yeah, okay. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> We are doing a quiz, see how much Monica knows. Oh, God. Lord. No, so, but, you know, I, I run into people because I do, um, you know, shop. And I, when, when I talk to people and they're, we're discussing my business, uh, I, I ask them, I say, hey, are you guys part of the chamber? And they're like, and, and I've had a couple people say, you know, what's that? You know, and I'm like, really? You know, the, the chamber of commerce, you know, the city, you know, whatever city you're involved in. But, and I start, actually, I'm, I'm sharing with them. Mm -hmm. But I believe that some businesses literally come to a city, set up shop, but they don't know the next steps. The next steps to? Of like joining the, the, the chamber, joining, uh, or getting their name out. They just uh, come to a city, set up shop, and then they believe like, boom, okay, we're open. What do we do? You know? Yeah, well, in in most cities, they do have a, um, they do have a relationship with with their chambers, you know, with the chamber of commerce. So a lot of cities, when when let's just say a corporation comes, because it all depends if it's a small business or if it's a corporation, it depends on what kind right, of right. Corporations know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in most corporations, you know, they they um, some will join chambers, some will not. They'll just be there, like maybe as a sponsor or something like that. Right, right. But small businesses, uh, when they apply for their business license, usually um, cities have information about chambers. They have brochures. And how I know this because when the West Covina Chamber of Commerce, when I started working there mm -hmm. back in the day, um, whenever you went to planning, when you were going to start a business and you apply for your license or whatever it was, they had brochures on chambers of commerce. Some people. You know, they have the option to pick it up and kind of read about it and know what right, it right, is. Right, right, um, right. And how to get involved. Um, and, um, and again, you know, um, um, we used to have information with the GWC, you know, in some of the departments mm -hmm. as well. I don't know what the procedure is now, but I know that um, the city of West Covina created a brochure, which is great, uh, you know, when somebody starts a business and all the, all the steps are actually on there, like mm. uh, for, you know, for gas, water, business I license, like business license. They, and, um, and I think we're on there as well, the business association, um, our information is on there as well. So it's a great tool to have um, because it's not just you know it's not just about you know oh we start a business but you also want to know about loans you want to know like mm -hmm. well how do I you know who, what's SBA what's SBDC what is all that you know and they have all that information on the brochure as well yeah because during COVID a lot of mom and pops missed out on the SBA loans mm -hmm. right I mean we've talked well, about SBA loans but they the, missed out on 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 um on the COVID relief, COVID uh, relief is because they just uh, didn't know how to apply or they didn't know they were they didn't have the information. Usually, usually their CPAs when they did their taxes, your CPA was kind of took on that responsibility of letting you know what's available for you. If your CPA did not inform you that they had the um, the 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 um, the COVID relief loans mm. out there available for you, and they could actually apply for you right there and then because they have all your business information. They know because your taxes were required as well. Yeah. So and also for the PPP. So they were, that's how we found out. And, um, and so it was mostly your CPA that was able to give you that information. If he didn't, then it, I would put it on your mm. CPA. Well, let's give a great shout out to Suzette mm -hmm. from corporate revivers. 
because she's great at doing her job too. She helps us all out here. She does a lot of our stuff here at, at the GWC because yeah. we just talked to a business not too, not too long ago and they didn't have a CPA. Mm -hmm. So even, and they're, they're a small mom and pop business or, you know, mm -hmm. self owned. And so basically you said something, you said something that's key. Like they should be, if you can't, but get yourself educated so that you know because you said you're their CPA, but some businesses don't have a CPA. Yeah, they just sometimes they just go somewhere and they just get their taxes done. Like right, right. Whether away. it's a, yeah. one of those agencies, um, mm -hmm. like Turbo, not not TurboTax, but yeah, TurboTax is online. But they also have those other agencies where, where you, you could just walk in. Yes. Yeah, where you could just walk in. Those are just people that work there, have a normal job, but they know how to do taxes, so they Correct. can hire temporarily to um, to do your Correct. taxes. So they don't really know like all the. They're not really up to date with all these um, benefits that uh, you could be getting. Yeah, yeah. But someone like like our CPA Suzette um, from Corporate Revivers, she knows everything. I mean, she's gonna you know she's gonna keep you up to date whether you're a nonprofit or not. She, you're able because they get educated they um, on all the things you know for the new tax season yes. on how people can you know save on their taxes or what's now you know um, what you can write off now. So she, you know. Good CPAs are very aware, but you got to find someone who is consistent. Yeah. You know, who, who's going to be there with you throughout the whole year that you can ask questions to that has a folder and gives you a digital folder so that you could have all your information stored in one place. Right. Right. Because that's important to be organized with your taxes. Because, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're if you're you're small because we, we are a small business as well. And but yet we want to make sure that we are in alignment with with the laws, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and doing the things that we need to do. Of course. And, and, and that's what I believe if you're now 2024, you know, if you're a small business that they should become compliant mm -hmm. with a lot of things or make it a, a goal this year to become compliant to a lot of these things. Right. Yeah. Especially if you're a nonprofit, there's it's a very sensitive, um, sensitive um, um, nonprofits are very sensitive. You have to you have to make sure that you are that you are staying up to date with like three different agencies, you know, that um and so she's great at doing all that. So make sure you guys find a CPA who has experience in in, in nonprofits and in corporation and S Corps, you know, um and just, you know, all all those um areas wherever your business is at. But as far as city, how a city can help you when you're gonna start a mm -hmm. business, even you know, with the um uh, let's just start from the beginning, business idea, right? Uh, you have to have a business plan. I always tell people, if you don't have a business plan, it's going to be really hard for you to stay focused in what you want to do and follow all the steps. So SBA is great at providing you um, with a, um, you just go online and you can actually, they have like a, template, a you template. Know, yeah, that yeah, you could just it. follow for your business plan and mm -hmm. a business plan can be changed at any time along the way and so that's where you're able to see you know even help you with budgets before we had a great service that i really miss a lot you know and there was this group of um of guys that that um i think you met one of them he still comes here and says hello uh that help you with um a lot of them were retirees um, mm -hmm. that were CPAs in the past, that mm -hmm. were professors in certain topics of marketing or whatever it was, and you're able to go to them and they were able to help you um, for free. Wow. You know, and you can ask them, you know, in almost any question and, um, and they would be able to help you. Um, now, you know, a lot of them, kind of you know during covid again covid changed a lot of a lot of a lot of things now you know there a lot of them are not doing it but in orange county i think they're still strong mm -hmm. but here you have sba they're they're based out of laverne um they can totally help you with a lot of your needs and if you're someone you know that can't apply for grants but you're just a small business and you're a woman-owned business there's loans for that mm -hmm. you know there's there's money for that sometimes free money from the government you know for um it just depends um on what it is that you want to do but you definitely want to look into that no i love the fact because we are the gwc greater west Covina, west Covina business association we are about giving information out mm -hmm. we want to help the local businesses we want to help them succeed and if you guys are not asking us or coming in here and uh, and visiting us here at the Plaza West Covina, I mean, there's then then of course you're going to be missing out on a lot of stuff because a, a lot of information comes through to us. Uh, uh, and Monica, I love the fact that she educates herself in a lot of these things, and now she's educating me to learn a lot of these things too, so that you know I don't just go. Monica, help them, but I could actually help as well. But it, we want to see the businesses, not just here, but in the San Gabriel Valley, succeed, and the mom and pop businesses for sure to succeed. So 
2024, I believe what we can let's make it possible to get the information to the local businesses. Yeah, because we have a lot of a lot of partners, you know, um, a lot of resources that we might not know all the current information, but we know where to direct you exactly. to. Exactly, we can and direct that's you. Yes. Very, very important that you guys know that we are your resource center as well. Yes. And so it could be for anything, whether it's a food pantry, whether it's veterans, um, you know, if you're a veteran mm -hmm. and you need help, because veterans are now starting their own business as well. Yeah. You know, yes. there's so much education behind every dream that you have. But you just, you know, if you come here and you ask us, we'd be more than happy because I'm very passionate about, you know, when somebody wants to start a new business. Oh, my God, I could just like I, that's where I thrive mm -hmm. because I'm, you know, that's how I started. But I started, you know, I found out the hard way because I didn't. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. But once I started working at the chamber, I found out, you know, I, I really became a lot educated as far as like all of the free information that you could get. Don't just go online and think you can find everything online. Go to your local chamber, your local business association and acquire that information because that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. We're not just here to do, you know, networking events that it's long after you know it's it's to get you started you know and and guide you through to the right places but um but cities are really good with that when it comes to um um to some of the things that you do need like i'm very big on business license if you're yes. doing business in west covina make sure that you have your business license because that says you're legit mm -hmm. you know so. yeah no no it, it's very important because we want people that work with us too because if we start introducing people to city officials to to p other other uh networking events here they're gonna be like oh so you know where's your business license well they're not gonna ask them that well you they're never they're not gonna ask them that they but they go, can always go back i was gonna say that they can go and back and do check. a business search exactly. you know and they don't have a business license. you're like oh you know um if you're if you're solely working in west covina then yes Mm -hmm. Yes, because you want that legitimacy. You want to make sure that people, you know, respect you as a business. And if you have a business license, you have a special code, and and that's how the, your category is under, you know, mm -hmm. that category. Where people find you as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you business, if you're doing business in other areas, like you, you're a car service, Jimmy. You most likely no. Um, but because um, you already registered as a as a as a corp, as a, yeah. So they can find you through. Um, yes. In a, in. Um, and another and other uh but if somebody areas. like what jimmy does for a business he, you know he does a car service but if he wants to get an office so he can have a place where he goes in then it's good for him to get a business oh license. If, if he's here in west covina i'm just not going to talk it what you know in west covina then yes you need a business license that's the very first thing that you need to do mm -hmm. is make sure that you get it because you can get um um um, in trouble if you don't if they come to your property and you don't have a business license oh yeah you can right they walk in and trouble. say oh so what's this oh i'm yeah. jm car service yeah. and then they're like well, what was your license to you know you're you're functioning in our city then it's like okay then you should have that business have license you're gonna have to run <laughs> <laughs> jimmy says he's gonna run get his car we're out of here no say i'm yeah. mobile no no but, but that's yeah good. don't this try to skip that don't try to skip the important things and 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 you know um um, businesses don't cost a lot of money. They're very inexpensive, but it's just a, a it's just a good way. You know, we have ours um, yeah. here. We're a nonprofit. We just got it now. You could get it online. No, so all you do is you that's just why go. I'm saying this because yeah. I'm also saying the business license because I love the fact that you are very you practice what you preach when it comes to the business stuff, and I and I love that about you. I've always said that because I'd be like, hey, let's do this. You're like, nope, we're going to go like this, and we're going to do it like this, and I'm like, but that's a good trait that you have oh, because you you. you uh, when a person comes in and asks us, you know, how to do this, you literally give them the advice that you have done, you know, like, cause yeah, you were, the other day you told me, you said, JR, I'm going to take the time right now because our business license, they just gave me uh, something that I have to I, renew I got it. an email, so yeah. I had to renew and it. And she did it right there on the spot because she yeah. says, I want to make sure that we are good with the city. Yeah. And the next day they emailed it to me and I just printed it. And, and so I don't have up. to wait for it on the mail. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just saying because. Those are the standards that we should have, even if it is a small business like us. You should have those standards and prepare yourself to be big. 
You know, and, and I, that's what I'm believing going into the new year that I, I, I'm going to do some of this. I want to be able to pick Monica's brain and get her because, see, as I even ask her the simplest questions, she gets so passionate about it because this is her expertise. This is what she loves. You know, she, yeah, you can see it when she talks. Right. And people comment. Why is she so serious? Because she's passionate at the moment. <laughs> I, just, I just think that if, if we all, t you know, it's like everything. It's like when you just start driving and you're going to go get your your driver's license. Right. Uh -huh. You 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 have to have taken either either your driver's, you know, driver's ed or mm -hmm. or you know taking some classes because you're not just going to go and take a driver's license and you don't know anything you're just going to get behind the wheel the first time right right you want to get you know when you're going to open your doors for a brand new business you want to be equipped you want to know that you you did all your research on your business even mm -hmm. even when it comes to your competition right right you, you want to know what's around you you know you're not yes. just going to get there and <laughs> open your business but you don't know that there's another taco place like two doors down yeah exactly yeah? now you're competing or, against somebody yeah or across the street right Exactly. And if you are going to compete against somebody, at least you know how you're going to stand mm. out. You know, yep. you already have all your marketing ready, you know, to do all that. We just got educated on something that we didn't even know through mm -hmm. one of our one of our members. And that was, you know, that AI. I know <laughs> everyone is going to start talking about it, but AI can actually produce your brochures because we were struggling. Like, how are we going to update our brochure? Yes. And this we have to rewrite it. We have to do this and we have to do that. Oh, my God. There's there, this one website. I mean, there's there's a what do you, what do you call those people that do all this? Uh, yeah, there's um, a lot of websites, a lot of places no, that no, I, I know what you're saying. Uh, I've heard the name, but you could actually no, not the website. What are the the people called? Uh, 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 designers. What graphic, are they called? Graphic, graphic designers. There's, there's tons website. of yeah. graphic designers, and they have reviews. Some of them yeah. have five stars. Some of them have three. And people you, you can know, choose and pick their, pay, depending on what you want. Yeah, for like from ten dollars. Yeah. From ten dollars, and I'm like, oh my! And they're beautiful. They're like professional. Um, yeah. Brochures. And these are resources that you could utilize for your business. Yeah, and we that, could give you all that information. Yeah, we now. give you all the information you can utilize. And and I like the fact that you said that this is something that because this is another big thing that local the small businesses need to understand too that I didn't understand is depending on the type of business that you have, what you're selling, what you're doing is determines whether you are a DBA, LLC, C corp, blah blah blah. You should get the right information because you don't want to g jump into something as well and you're like whoa wait, wait a minute i didn't I know i have to pay you know eight hundred dollars yeah already and i haven't even made any money yeah you know find yeah. out and i love the fact because suzette she educated me and, and, and shared with me you don't need this right now you need to do this blah 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 but she guided me to where i needed to do for my my, my small business and that's what you have to understand because I know many people that are not making, uh, you know, huge finances. They're barely starting off. And they're paying more taxes than they should. Exactly. Than what they should. Exactly. Yeah. And you got to yeah. find out which is best for you. So get with somebody. And also, you know, um, um, our good friend here, our producer of our wonderful shows, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jimmy asked about business tax. He asked about, you know, um, uh, how do we acquire that? You know, where do we need to sign up? And that's also so important, you know, uh, um, uh, finding out any questions that you have, make sure that when you go or you come to our office, make sure that you have those questions written down so that we can prepare that information mm -hmm. for you. Because it is, it's very, very, very important um, that we um, that we guide you, and even with soliciting, yes. right? Yes, with soliciting. Um, we're yes. gonna start implementing a lot of those um, a lot of those uh, uh, workshops on the do's and don'ts mm -hmm. when you're just starting a business or when you just got licensed to sell insurance. Mm -hmm. You know, just to give you guys an example, mm -hmm. you know, what are the do's and don'ts in the networking world? You mm -hmm. know, um, so that so that you know how to follow those steps because a lot of people don't know and they make a lot of mistakes along the right, way, right. and then people don't even want to do business with you. you no. know? No, they after don't. that so we want to give everybody the respect you know that that um um that you deserve and we don't just want to you know just laugh at you and be like oh my god you know they're the worst salesmen let's educate each other no, you know definitely. on what we need to do if we see that they're making a mistake let's point it out but in a professional manner no i love you it you know because nobody's perfect nobody knows but again that's what we're here for to be educated and to educate no i love it and so you know moving forward you know just if you want to uh, have us bring in any type of specialist that specialize in anything that you might be lacking in your business. DM us, call us, 
stop in here, share with us. We want to hear your concerns so so we can help better your business and be that information uh, uh, podcast for you guys. Yeah, right? and I think um, moving forward, we um, because it's tax season, it's already st- starts after the tenth. Right. Yeah, people start filing for their taxes or whatever. We want to make sure that we bring an expert on um, on on, uh, on, on that area. Yeah, taxes. You know, for our next show, so that way we can give you you know a little bit of guidance on that. But I think that's super super important. Um, that we do that, mm-hmm. and um, and we do have information on how to start a business here. We have some um, some information from the city that we'll have if any of you guys want it and you want to request it. Um, just send us a you know a message on this show and we'll 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 send we'll it out to you. We'll get to you guys right away. Yeah, because we want everybody to have, you know, the, everybody that's dreaming of owning a business. We want you to have a great experience, and we want to help you and guide you to do the right thing. Yes. So with that, we have a special guest that is coming on. He was already on our show, Jonathan with the Gold's, Gold's Gym. Yes. But we're bringing him back because he has some more information. Some He's going to educate us about, you know, about um, about working out and what's the right workout for me, what's the right workout for you. Exactly. And for our audience that have, you know, that have uh, uh, maybe are thinking like, oh, my gosh, you know. Yeah. So and he has a special. And he's going to see at the end. So you guys going to have to stay because he's going to talk about his special as well. They're located right here at the Plaza West Covina. So. Uh, we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Jonathan. Hey, everyone. We are going to be doing lip filler on our patient, Monica, today. She already has gorgeous lips. We're just going to be focusing on adding a little bit of height and then lots of hydration. So today we're gonna be using RHA2. It's a very um, flexible filler. It's meant to be used in areas where there's a lot of mobility and movement. So it's gonna be perfect in the lips and it's also a very soft filler. So it's not gonna be too accentuated and gonna give a really nice hydrated look. Uh, this is John. They just want to reach out and let you guys know that you can go ahead and find us right here at the Gold's Gym West Covina right here at the plaza. Go ahead and just come in, say GWC, say Jonathan. We'll go ahead and get you started. We just want to make sure you guys get fit for this 2024. Thank you guys so much. Okay, we are back, man. And, and like I said, we have a... He's not a guest anymore. Now this is his home. So he's here. He's with us. We've partnered up with Jonathan over there at, over there at Gold's Gym. And uh, so now we are working together, not just to uh, better ourselves, but to <laughs> better. Why are you judging yourself? Because I have to put it in my gut a little bit. <laughs> no, kinda... you're, you're actually coming back with a plan now. Right, we're actually gonna put you know some 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 of your greatest information into a plan yes. for folks that want to get back into the gym. So welcome back, Jonathan. Oh, yes, thank you, thank, you, thank you for having me back again. <laughs> yes, because you know it's the first now it, we're like two weeks into into the year, and you have most likely seen a spike in the in the gym membership and stuff. But we 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 have come to this point where um, people walk into the gym. They bought their membership, and you most likely see them standing around because they don't know what to do first, right? They know they need to lose weight, but they don't know where to start. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Let's not call it a weight loss. Let's just say somebody just wants to get – because it's not just about losing weight. Am I right or not? I mean, everyone has their own different goals. Some people lose weight. Some people gain muscle. Some people just, like he said, being healthy. Healthy. So everyone has their own little goal for their own – Lifestyle. Yeah, I just want to be healthy. That's why I don't care about losing weight. I just want to be <laughs> healthy and round. So tell us, how should a beginner start at the gym? Well, the biggest thing and the biggest problem a lot of people do have is when they come in, they just come in thinking, okay, cool, I bought a gym membership. I'm going to hit my goal now. I'm going to mm-hmm. either gain weight, I'm going to gain muscle, or I'm going to get healthy. Right, right. Realistically, everyone needs to have a game plan of what they're going to do to achieve that goal, whether it's doing the treadmills, doing the weightlifting. Even with us, we do have amazing coaches that help them reach their goals. You can tell them whatever your goal is, whether it's gain 100 pounds, lose 100 pounds. We're there to help you out, and we're there to help you reach whatever that goal that is. So the coolest thing about Goals Gym is when you first join, you actually get a free welcome workout with your membership. I know we're planning on you guys doing yours with um, our fitness manager. So that's the cool thing about that is when you guys come in, 
the very first day, the first thing we like to do is set you up with that. Whether right. it's the same day or the next day, we want you guys in there to learn and how to achieve your goal, basically. Oh, so you do ask that then when, when they first get there and it's in the unknown, like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I like it, but so you guys, well, so when I sign up, you tell us, so what are your goals? Of course, yeah. We always like to oh, ask, okay. what are your goals? What's the time frame? Why? The biggest reason is a lot of people want to know is why. Why, why? do you want to lose yeah. that weight? Why do you want to be healthy? Is it a it's doctor? True, yeah. Is it a personal? Is mm. it a loved one? Like, yes. everyone has their own why reason, and that's the biggest factor there is, is why. Oh, no, so you guys, like oh, that. okay. I, I really, uh, yeah, okay. So then, yeah, because I've never been asked that question when I've signed up for a gym. I mean, it's just usually because, I don't know, maybe we miss that. Maybe that's what makes you guys stand out, which is really cool. You know, because I've seen a lot of, you know, some people when I used to go to the gym, and some people are lost. They get there, and they're just kind of looking around to see what other people are doing, and they try to do the same thing. And sometimes they don't know how to use the machine. So I felt compelled to go and show them, you know, like, hey, you, you know. Did. I I did. Wow. I did. I felt like I, you know, yeah, because I just felt bad. I felt bad that they were not being helped. And sometimes they don't even know how to use it or they would let go the, the machine like really harsh oh, yeah. and, 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 and slams, slam yeah. it. Yeah. And so I would be like, um, um, you might want to release it first. Like, you know, you take the little thing out and you put it, you know, like, I, I don't know. I was just I wasn't being nosy, but I just really cared about like what people were doing because they they look lost. So if you guys are doing that, then that's great. But I think people should always too, you know, um, get schooled on how to use the machines because sometimes they don't know how. Yeah. And the biggest thing we reason why we do that is not to get training, not to get the money. Mm -hmm. It's really just to help out our people there, because at the end of the day, the minute you sign up, you join our family. So we mm -hmm. want to take care of you, want to make sure no one gets hurt, because that's the biggest thing. If you're doing a bunch of random workouts, you're doing a bunch of random machines, that you don't know what you're hitting, at the end of the day, you, there is a possibility you could get hurt, because yeah. you are lifting weight. Yeah, you're straining yourself. You're straining your muscle, yes. you're tearing your f off muscle fibers. At the end of the day, you can get hurt. There's yeah. always a possibility. Oh. So what should, some, like, like myself, like, I, I, this is what I do. So um, I like to do hit con workouts at home, but then I do use, I want to utilize the gym for cardio. Uh, and, but I, I, I get on the treadmill, well, the elliptical. I do the elliptical because of my knees. Okay. So I do it for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll go to, like, either, whether it's, it's um, my, my you know, arm day or chest day or shoulder day, or I'll mix the chest with shoulders. Um, but what do you recommend should be the best to, like, when you get there to warm up? So our biggest thing we like to say is definitely stretch. You okay, know, yeah, of course. Always stretching, older, whether man, you're yeah. older or younger, <laughs> the best thing to do, they teach you to stretch. In sports and athletics, stretch. Uh -huh. After that, I would definitely warm up on the um, incline walk, Stairmaster, okay. or you could do the little, um, as you just said, my elliptical. Bad. Elliptical. I just blanked out right now. <laughs> the elliptical, it really just depends on how you just want your heart to get racing mm -hmm. and your body to warm up. Because mm -hmm. realistically, it takes about like 30 minutes for your body to warm up. So 10, 15 minutes on the, on the cardio, treadmill, cardio, you want to make sure you can do a little bit more to get yourself really warmed up. And mm -hmm. 10 to 15 minutes, right? Because, I mean, I, I've heard that, you know, you, you do 30 plus minutes or so on cardio. Then if I am trying to achieve muscle, I'm going to burn it off, right? So you're not running. Your running is going to make you also, yeah, burn that muscle, burn running. that fat. Okay. But, I mean, if you're just elliptical, it, it, it's like just doing light cardio. Like what I told you about fart leg. You know, when you're when – you're <laughs> it's not like I'm saying – I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> fart leg. Okay, go ahead, fart leg. That's what the workout is called. It is called fart leg. I just fart learned leg. that yesterday. Yeah, it's too. it's where you're almost you're not running and you're not walking. It's a combination of the two. Yeah. And that's your warm up. And that usually goes for runners. It goes for about maybe a, a mile or two. Yeah. And then and then you you know you um you get into your running. You know, so that's kind of you could also do that on the treadmill. Yeah. You know, you just it's almost like you're you're walking fast, but you're still kind of incorporating a little bit of like movement about, mm. you know, running. Yeah. And it's a great, great um, uh, way to warm up. But you're right. Before you hit the the the, the machines, you know, you um, you want to warm up, you know, your body. You want to loosen up your arms, and you're almost like you're not doing this. You're just like running loose, you know. Mm. And it's and it's really cool. A lot of people don't believe in that. They think, oh, that's nothing. But it, it is something because you're moving your all your body. You're letting it go at the same time. You're moving it. I don't know. It's a it, th that's the way I you know I like to warm up. You know, but. 
But in the gym, this it's good for people to know that before they go into right into like lifting all yeah. that weight, you know, because sometimes they don't know. But um, but if you guys have you know all those things where people can actually you know ask the questions and not feel intimidated. So what do you do when someone's intimidated, you know, to ask those kind of questions? Do you just approach them, or or do you guys just kind of let them be, or or how does that work? So the biggest thing I do train the staff on is looking out, looking around. Like when we do our daily walks, when we're at our desk, when we're just walking around in general. Mm -hmm. We like to look around and see, you know, is someone just staring? Is someone just like in disbelief of how this moves, how <laughs> yeah. this works? Yeah. And then the day we just introduce ourselves because we all want to help out that person be their best person. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Oh, I'm glad. So you guys are, are aware of all these things. Because one time I was going to do, because I don't know if it was you guys or 24 that used to have like um, feedback um, envelopes and stuff and yeah. then you could just drop them I actually dropped some because I wanted people to be I wanted them to be aware of like like the kind of things that I was observing while I was you know while I was on the treadmill um, and 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 a lot of ladies they're always on their phone on the elliptical or whatever and I thought you know the lady almost fell and I wanted to report that make sure that you're not on your phones that people are getting educated on on how injuries could happen you know because they're on their phone you know what I mean so I don't know I was just a, a very observant person, so um, so I'm glad that you guys kind of. One of my biggest things I hate when people are, are like you're waiting for the machine and they're just and I'm on the, and I'm the machine next to them and I'm like okay he'll be done because I'm doing my sets but yeah he's just like texting away. Yeah. I'm like dude come on bro like I already went two reps <laughs> already into it and you're just still there I'm like oh I guess he's yeah because you start getting cold you're you know yeah, you're, you're, yeah. you kind of have to start over or whatever but yeah. I don't know, but I'm glad that you guys, you know, have have you know that and where you guys are being very observant of what's going on, um, because let me tell you that the, when people are on their phone and they put it on speakerphone and they're really loud and you're trying to like really focus, I don't know focus, where she goes. Like, oh. I've never heard these things. <laughs> no, it's real. I'm, is it not real? It, it happens. It's it happens, but that's where we like to teach like our gym etiquette, gym courtesy, like. We don't let people bring in speakers just to play music. <laughs> you know, someone we has. We oh, it happens. Boomboxes. Yes. Seen boom boxes. What? I've yes. Seen speakers and backpacks. I've seen a lot of different things. Yes. Yeah, the yes. biggest thing is, you know, just the gym etiquette. That's the vibe we I go for. I would never bring us freaking speakers. You wouldn't, but you don't know how other people are thinking. And well, that the makes me think twice of how they're thinking. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> come on, bring a speaker. Barbecue, I'm right there. Hey, anybody want any protein? <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> like you see a lot of different things. I've seen people bring in sandwiches. I've seen people make sandwiches <laughs> wow. in the gym. I've seen people give haircuts. You know, oh, no, no they like haircuts. So that's where you have to slowly teach all these new people that are joining your new family. It's yeah, your yeah. gym etiquette, your gym courtesy, which is we don't do those kind of things. Yeah, no, 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 no uh, yeah, because I, I look at Gold's Gym as like a top notch name. I've always looked at Gold's Gym like that because of just uh, the people that I've known in the past have gone there. <laughs> And and, it, and so, just to know that those type of people would just even try it, it it's just amazing. Make sandwiches, get a haircut. That is a it, new one. It happens. Like it happens at really? other gyms as well that I've worked at. It's just, it's whether you allow it or not. Yeah. Which yeah. we don't. We're very you know strict on our policy of, you know, just make sure it's clean. Make sure. Well, I've heard other good. gyms. Not your not Gold's gym. This is not Gold's gym. I'm talking about right now. But another gym used to have pizza for everybody after they worked out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna give them a <laughs> shout out on here, but we've heard about that too. I was like, what pizza? the heck? Yeah, it's like, what's the point? Yeah, you just worked out and you're, hey man, get some pizza, guys. We want you back in here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we definitely uh, we don't do stuff like that, but we'll do like free creatine, free amino acids. Nice. So that way they know okay. what we're offering, know what we're selling, so that way they can taste the product before they buy it. Well, is there any type of um, Okay, you guys set goals for people. Maybe this is new. Goals Gym, listen up. So maybe, uh, like, if people are hitting their marks, is there any incentives that you guys give out? So we actually are, and I did want to talk to you guys about this. We are running a little program oh. where it's, I think, right now, $100 to enter. You get four or five workouts with a personal trainer, and we give you an incentive. It's our New Year's new start where it starts at the door. You walk in, you sign up. It's $100 to start. And it's a competition to see who has the best transformation and I think about three months by March. Wow. So there are incentives. We do want to give they back. Win? I think as of right now, it's a cash prize and the second and third place are like items. 
Oh, that is cool. So they're doing all incentives. Yeah, for yeah. That is really hitting their cool. goal, not yeah. losing it. Their goal. Yeah, hitting their goals. Yeah, and they're getting help along the way, which is great. Which is great. I I used to go to a, another gym where they actually had smoothies. They had like a little bar with smoothies, bananas, and you can get gels and you can get yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, but one time I picked up something that had a lot of caffeine. So how do you know that when you are giving out, you know, um, some of these products that the person is in good health to be able to take those how do you guys keep track of that so the biggest thing we ask is have you had pre-workout before a lot of our aminos and our creatine do not have caffeine it's okay. just the amino acids or it's oh, just the okay. creatine monohydrate our only thing that has pre-workout is gonna be like our no rage but we let them know hey you know this is pre-workout you might feel a tingle there's beta alumine mm. Have you had pre-workout before? We don't just give it to random people. Oh, okay, here. okay, yeah, because <laughs> you know, I I'm, I'm always I'm always afraid of that because of the content of how much caffeine it has, and if I'm a runner, you know, I don't want to be taking that while I'm running. Yeah, you, so, you definitely know, shouldn't be. No, because my heart is gonna running. be thumping, and yeah. then you add that, and it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you gotta oh, be wow. you gotta be yeah. really careful. So, um, but we do do the the goo gels, you know, the GU gels, which are great for runners. Um, it's just a, a gel with amino acids, but it also contains caffeine. Yeah. And, um, mm. and, and like a low percentage of it, though. That, that. It, well, it has it has some have high percentages, some have mild percentages. It just depends, but it really helps you with your with your legs. It, it helps you sustain like your pace, but you gotta. And then there's some that don't have any, so those are good because you're you know. Um, I don't know. You see those a lot during marathons everywhere. Yeah, they'll and just bite into them and yeah, just eat it. and you just—it's like a gel. You just like yeah, and then they have the 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 um the the gummy ones. So mm. it just depends on the person. And and the reason why I say that because some some people can't take like a lot of caffeine and right away they do a, a Red Bull and then they go and they get on the treadmill and you're like whoa like it's so dangerous so i i always i i always like to you know scope people on things like that because it's so important that you don't do that before or even a monster before you get on the treadmill but mm -hmm. i i've seen people with a monster and a red bull while running well definitely the biggest thing between monster red bull and actual pre-workouts monster and red bull are straight sugar just so you guys like yeah yes. be aware of that yes mm -hmm. a lot of the pre-workouts are actually just caffeinated so they have caffeine beta alumine and other like vitamins in them but there's zero sugar. Mm -hmm. So you don't get that mean crash, right? Yeah, that's the biggest thing is you don't want that crash. Yeah, you're gonna go from being like super energetic and itchy, a little bit itchy, to like normal and kind of smooth mm -hmm. yourself out. But with something with that much sugar, like a Red Bull, Monster, or the other one, um, definitely stay away from those before bang working out. Bang, oh, bang, bang is considered a pre-workout. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. It's oh, considered shoot. a pre-workout. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know that. But I like that. I've tried the 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 um, the one who that has the caffeine, the pills, and it does. It makes you itchy. It gives you that tingle at the beginning yeah. or whatever. So, it, but it does give you that that you know that kick that you need to be able to get through your hard workouts mm. you know but i was able to handle it myself um but i always say you know um when somebody does have like a heart condition or they have you know something that they should inform you know the person that they're that they're um like their personal trainer or maybe when they sign up for the gym so that way you guys can advise them you know on, on what kind of a if they need a doctor to sign them off that they're okay to work out at the gym right yeah, so the biggest thing is um, we do ask prior, do you have any heart conditions, health conditions, anything that we, so we know, so we can always work around it. Like, we're not going to make you squat if you have two bad knees or a bad right. back. We're not going to make you deadlift if you have a bad that's back. A good question. That's a, I have a good question then. Do you do an assessment test then? So that's what the welcome workout is. We put you through a oh, mobility and flexibility assessment oh, okay. just to make sure there's not any injuries. Then we do your in-body scan, which measures out your muscle dexterity and your muscle just to make sure, like, you know, you're all good in health. Because some people don't know that they have um, – and in uneven balance in their body, mm. like one arm's bigger than the other. One what? Yeah. We do have that? Of course. Of course. The biggest thing to avoid injuries is to make sure you're symmetrical. No wonder I walk like, like a... Is like, anybody really uh, symmetrical, uh, though, honestly? You do. You end up getting your muscles symmetrical. Oh, uh, your muscles, but not your alignment. Your alignment, so, so it's going to be a little bit that, off. that might be more of a chiropractor thing, because yeah. you definitely, if you're unaligned, that's your lower back and your disc riding up. That's probably a chiropractor. But everybody has one arm longer than the other, one leg longer than the other. I know that for a fact. That way I walk like all oh, cool, like I'm like, I have one. <laughs> that, definitely have <laughs> maybe one arm. The legs, though, that's that's your disc, that's your hips. You'd mm -hmm. want to get aligned, stretch out, roll out. That's more of um, stress, unalignment. You lifting things without yeah. proper form. Yeah. That actually unaligns you. That makes your leg. Yeah, no, but I'm I'm having surgery on my knee in um, upcoming surgery February 20th, and they had to do a, a um, uh, an X-ray. 
to make sure that both my hips are aligned correctly, but my legs, I saw the measurements, they're off, like maybe two centimeters. They're one's yeah, longer than the other. Through? No, I don't walk with the limp. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, yeah, before they do surgery, because they have to measure, make sure that everything it's, you know, um, it's uh, everything that they're gonna implant, you know, it's gonna be the right, the right size. Yeah, when I would say symmetrical, I don't mean like, even in length, I meant like in the muscle. Oh, mass. okay, okay. Even like, in length, okay. Yeah, you yeah. want to make sure your muscles even. Sometimes we gotta explain a little more. <laughs> <laughs> that way, when you're not squatting, one leg doesn't go up faster than the other. When you're benching, one arm doesn't go up faster than the other. That's what I mean by symmetrical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's the muscle mass that's there, mm -hmm. that kind of symmetrical. I uh, mean, uneven body parts that happens. No, yeah. you see it a lot in people. Yeah, yeah I, I'm very even. So, <laughs> but I have another question because I am very sensitive to caffeine, so I can't be taking a pre workout and, st and stuff like that. So there are different options, you know, um, what I've kind of developed now, just because, you know, I'm young, so I don't want to just get addicted to pre-workout. <laughs> uh, I've been doing black iced coffee. It's really low in pre uh, caffeine. Yeah. It doesn't taste the best, but it still gets you that little bit of an energy boost. Um, there's tea. I had a GM that used to drink tea in the mornings to wake them up. Okay. Everyone has their own little thing. There are lower dosage of pre-workout, like the bangs, the rises that are very low. It's okay. like 150 milligrams. Which is like almost a little bit more than a couple. Right, right, right. Yeah, some of the runners used to take black coffee. Yeah. Yeah, before I run. It's more like a natural type of no? caffeine. Yeah. You take it, boom, gets you. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I, I, I'm very sensitive to caffeine. And I want to, you know, get something that stimulates me so that I can have a good workout. Yeah. But I know as I drink it, I get like headaches. I start getting my headaches and I'm like, oh, no. This is not There's good. also um, pre-workouts, uh, not pre-workouts, well, I should say supplements that are non-stim. That way you still get that um, beta alanine, the different things to help you get a pump. Oh, okay. And help you basically blood flow, but without getting that stimulation of caffeine. Yeah, because that's mm. what you want. I like to feel that, you know, when you're like tight, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah, this is a good and workout. The, the different <laughs> things, you just got to read them, make sure it says non stimulator or it says pump or pre-workout. Okay. Mm. Like or it. maybe you just need to get used to it. You know, start off very slow, you know, taking a little bit, and then you just increase it as you go. No, because no lie. I, that way your body adjusts to I'll drink like that much of coffee, and I'm like, woo, <laughs> I'm on it, like, woo. I'm like, yeah, let's go, man. I'm ready. We're going to talk. We're going to do something. Else. Oh, man. And I have a high tolerance for caffeine. Yeah, same. I'm, yeah. That doesn't hit me. No? Yeah, it doesn't no. for wow. me either. For me either. It would take me a while, but, you know, but it just depends on the person. But make sure that you guys are asking all those really important questions, even if it doesn't seem like, oh, no, maybe they'll tell me no. No, ask it because it's better to be, to be safe than sorry later, right? Yeah. And that way, yeah. And we know. We have, like, the recommendations for you guys. Everything we have to offer is in our cooler. So you guys let us know what you're looking for. We always give our recommendations. And That's so where can they answer. find you guys again? They can find us at the Gold's Gym West Covina right here at the Plaza West Covina upstairs. And the hours? Hours right now, we're Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., weekend 7 to 7. Ah, and you have a special, you said, right now. We have a couple specials. So we have that, obviously, that reward. So that rewards people to hit their goal, come in. It's a three-month process where you take progress pictures you go mm. beginning to start you have the trainer or right now we are in a great special is 99 dollars for four workouts with the trainer oh, nice. to welcome all those that are new to the gym so that was another thing really? we, i'll tell you guys about you know the, for the new people that we would love to get them started it's a small price to pay to look, get some information get some knowledge and get some help because we give you a, wor a workout plan an in body assessment a, a meal plan guidance app so you can kind of count your calories and know what we're eating is good or bad for the body. Count your protein, count your macros. Everything's included with that. That is really good. I think I like that. I like that. $99 for uh, personal training, right? It's personal training, and that's your introduction for the membership. So it's everything oh. collected into one. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, so you actually sign up for the you year up, as yeah. well. You oh. sign up for the membership as well. That is really good. Oh, my God. You guys have to take advantage of that. Oh, yes, my God. I've never – that that that's a great deal right there to start off. So, yeah, um, oh, okay. yeah so take advantage of that. And I like the that, fact that because you said something that's very important. When they sign up, if you do not want to stop going to the gym, get a plan. Just get a plan of action, meet with someone like Jonathan, <laughs> and they can get you on a plan, get you with a trainer, someone that will teach you the basically the, 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 just the, a, basics. A, the basics. Because we got to create a habit, right? We have to create that habit. And we talked about it earlier. It's creating a habit. And, and until they create that habit, then they're going to fail because they're going to leave. They're going to they're gonna, like quit. So that's why we quit. I mean, because after a while, we feel like, well, I don't see anything happening. I, I just keep doing this, and I'm, I'm going in, and I'm running. Or maybe they're running too much, and now you feel like you're getting all flabby because yeah. you're not doing no muscle work. And that's the biggest thing we talk about is like going into that danger zone is if you're doing the same workouts over and over Every and day. over yeah. with no guidance and no leadership, 
you're not going to see really results because you're going to start to plateau. Mm -hmm. And once people plateau, that's when we see them slowly cancel, not come in, not come in for a year or two, and then what they started out was not worse because they, they gained weight, lost muscle, mm -hmm. something like that. And then they blame the gym. It didn't work. Yeah. You're like, no, no. I don't know if I've heard anybody say the gym didn't work. They just they just probably got discouraged or no, they got bored. Well, they don't blame, like, like they, say, they say, oh, I, I got a membership, but <laughs> nothing happened. Like, well, because maybe you weren't consistent. Maybe you didn't have a plan. Uh, you didn't talk to people. I mean, you just went in there thinking like, oh, I'm going to run and that's it. But it doesn't work like that. You've got to have a plan. You know, and, and of course, hit those target areas that you want. You know, the dad body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to say before we go? Um, no, not really. We touched a little bit about the pro program that we have. Okay. The nice little welcome at workouts to have. Biggest thing is just, you know, getting people to come in, you know. It's a new year. It's a new them. I know it's a nice one to say. Yes. But the biggest thing we've been saying a lot is right now it just starts at the door. Mm. You got to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I did ask you, um, I did ask you one important question. So if a family wanted to come in and get their kids started, you know, early going to the gym, because sometimes, you know, they don't want to leave their 12 year old at home or whatever. So how early can they get them started in the gym? So at least here at Gold's Gym, they do have to be 13. That's just part of our waiver and liability. But, you know, we welcome everyone 13 and up, come in, we'll take care of them. We know we used to have the kids' club, so unfortunately, oh, we don't nice. have that anymore. Oh. But, I mean, you know, we welcome everyone 13 and up to come in and get started. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah. so you guys don't have the kids' the, the, the kids club unfortunately, anymore. Unfortunately, after COVID, we uh, discontinued that with the company, but, you know... We're still welcoming everyone 13 and over, though. Come on. Oh, that's a really good age. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you so much. Wow, you course, gave me a lot guys. of really good information. I feel like I'm in the gym tomorrow. I'll be there at 5. <laughs> I'll like to see that happen, guys. <laughs> I definitely like to see that happen. <laughs> no, I have big plans. I have big plans. So <laughs> yeah, we're going really to see good. that Im implemented. We're going to see those big plans implemented, guys. <laughs> wow, thanks for having faith in me. <laughs> a lot of really faith, guys. A lot that. of faith, guys. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jonathan. It's always a pleasure speaking to you and seeing you around, walking around the mall and, you know, just saying hello. So make sure you guys say hi to Jonathan. No, of course. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you guys for always saying hello when I'm walking around. <laughs> <laughs>